working somewhere, my neighbor's just like paying me, what, 50 bucks a week to cut their grass. So it's kind of like a job, but you know, I get paid 50 bucks a week. So, you know, every two weeks, I don't know, I can get, yeah, that's like a couple hundred a month. So, by a slight advance, a couple hundred a month, so I can, uh, I can have enough money by summer. My parents will definitely pay some for me. If I save up enough money and show them that I really want it, they'll, they'll pay for like half of it. So, I, if I die here, no, I'm not going to die, never mind. I was, was going to say, if I die here, the, the mistake was that I didn't buy that nuke. So, now that I have, now that I'm out of ammo, perfect. Oh shit, I don't have the door open. Now that I have, now that I have, sorry, I'm just completely, I'm just trying to concentrate on the game for a second, but now that I um, have all the doors open, shit, now I can't even buy MP40 ammo. Is that enough? 500. Come on. There we go. Okay. Back to what I was saying. Um, now that I have all the doors open, I just run, run laps around the map. And that's how easy it is. But again, this map isn't the easiest. Jesus. Like, the stairwells on this map is the big thing. It's like, you don't get caught in the stairwell. Or you're kind of fucked. And I can... I can pretty much just buy mule kick now because there's no guns that I really need. And if I do go down, whatever. So we go round, what, round eight? I want to keep the bouncing buddy because they actually do, they can kill a huge group of zombies uh, up until like round 20. So, see now what, what my strategy is, I kind of stay in this room here, uh, let the zombies kind of spawn in. And as soon as as soon as I see them coming, like right here, I I move. No, I can kind of stay here still. So I'm gonna wait until they they're all. I want to wait till they all spawn in, so they don't start spawning ahead of me. So now I got all the zombies here. And now the thing is, uh, just walk slowly. If you guys want to get a high round, I'm just gonna kind of help let you know on what to do. But you want to just walk slowly. You don't want to go too slow. Uh, I would just say. Keep is you know just keep pushing forward on your analog stick and just don't sprint. Stop at a couple of doors time to time, and just keep moving forward like this, because you don't want to get too ahead of yourself so that you know you get cut off by other zombies. And where you want to kill is right here. Oh yeah, see this is what I mean. Like right now it's a little bit difficult because we still have we don't have all runners. All the zombies aren't running, so you know we're not gonna get, uh, you know, there's gonna be zombies cutting you off in the earlier rounds. That was a really bad move by me. Like, see that? Never, ever stop at a stairwell. Never do that. That is one of the stupidest things you could ever do. I don't know why I did that. See, the thing is with zombies here and everything, I get very impatient. Like I. I just don't like running around and oh, oh I should have bought the double barrel over there whatever but I don't like running around and only shooting at the zombies like once yeah I'll buy the trench gun instead because yeah this is pretty good shit the trench guns a boss Only if I could upgrade it. Well, I'll kind of. Yeah. Yeah, well, if you hit it like directly in the chest, it's a one shot. But I don't know if I should buy the double barrel. Whatever, I can just buy this. I want to buy the STG off the wall as well. Because that's right on my path uh, along with the MP40, so. Well, there are two guns that I can buy. Now again, just kind of chill here, chill right here, till zombies kind of start spawning in. And always run with the shotgun out. 
that's a tip. Even if you have like a Spaz 12, you know, on this map, Spaz 12, whatever shotgun you have, uh, always have your shotgun out at all times because, you know, you can kind of get fucked over. I should have. No, I'm gonna buy the STG anyway, so. so. The STG is a real good gun to get, and the trench gun's right there, too, and I don't have enough points with the STG. So, you know, if you're running laps or running a rape train on this. Oh, I'll get that. If you're running a rape train on this map, and, um. Fuck, I heard a power up, but I don't know what the fuck it is. Shit, I have to go get that. It's only around 9. Ah, uh, it's not double points. But if you're running right front of the map, the best guns would be the MP40, STG, and the trench gun, because they're right in your path. Easy like this, easy to buy, no problems. And whenever you get in a nuke on this map and you're in the middle of the map, make sure you run over here, because you always want to start here. This is the starting place you want to go. And, uh,. I might do like some strategy guys later on for like you know 1 to 20 or if you guys want uh, some strategy guides like that uh, I might do them but it's I just find that it's kind of too late to do strategy guides too late you know being a black ops isn't even the call of duty right now and uh, you know I just I really don't like Modern Warfare 3, like, I haven't actually, like, the last time I played it was just to do those stupid mods, well, not stupid mods, but those, to do those mods, that was the last time I played to actually, you know, actually played Modern Warfare 3, and other than that, I do not play that game whatsoever, so, well, this time, I would like to buy MP40 ammo, and the SDG here. See, and the thing is, if if there's like no zombies behind you, just keep moving. You don't want to stop because that that I'm gonna die here now because of that. Uh, I got cut off big time. Damn. That's just like wow. I thank God it's insta kill, and I'm gonna get the MP40 out. Wow, that, I, I don't think I've ever been, like, cut off that bad before. Like, I don't think I've ever actually been, like, wow. I'm actually really kind of surprised that happened. I just need enough for Juggernaut here. That's what I'm trying to do. Hey, dude, I'm not going to have enough this round. I'm going to get quick revive here. But I've never, oh my god, for all those times I've played this map, I've never ever, ever been cut off that bad. Like, I was like, I'm thinking about getting double tap because it would be the, for the shotgun. But right now I just need to get points. That's what I really need so I can get Juggernaut. And see, the thing is now with, uh, oh, I thought I went down there for a second. But when you don't have Juggernaut, fuck, you have to be very careful now. You gotta just, like, I don't want to run too fast, but now I'm scared about getting cut off. So I'm gonna take my trench gun out, just in case. I don't want to get cut off again, because that will just, like, dev especially, see, this, this is how this map is hard, because you get, if you get one zombie like that, in that kind of a spot, you're fucked, like, what are you supposed to do in that situation? You can't do anything. So hopefully I can have enough for, to get Juggernaut now. Oh! Yeah. I don't think I'll be able to get Juggernaut. Uh oh! Kinda lag there. Get the shotgun out here. Pretty much good. Or good. I'm just kind of like... Kind of lag there. I was thought I was gonna disconnect. And don't kill zombies ever right there. Like, maybe shoot to put some bolts to them to get some points. But other than that, do not, do not kill them, because you don't want to get cut off here. Not good. And put the Bettys down. No, it'll kill a lot of zombies for you. 
that put a, but the 